I'm trying to fade a logo, not showing the back faces does not work. I would just like to fade the whole object without seeing those faces. Is this possible? Yeah, of course it is. Let me show you a very quick setup. Now what I'm essentially doing here is, I'm using an empty to drive the transparency of the object. So I'm going to quickly hide this wireframe. And you can see here when the empty moves along, it dissolves the object. Very much like a traditional linear wipe. Now I actually had to be reminded how to do this by the Erndale Discord, so shout out to the Discord channel. But it's very easy to set up to be honest. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll quickly show you the setup, then I'll do the exact same for the wireframe. So what I essentially have here is the PBR material. You do not need to worry about this, this is essentially the first material. We then put this into a mix shader and we drive the mix shader with a transparent BSDF. With a texture coordinate, we select the object that we would like to drive the animation, which is essentially the empty. And what I can do is I can separate the channel from the X, Y and Z. So I want to do it on the X axis, so I make it X, and that goes into the factor and then the empty essentially drives the transparency. So we essentially get something like this. Nice and easy to be honest. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to replicate this for the wireframe so we can dissolve this at the same time. Now one thing that you need to be aware of is you need to go to the material settings and you need to change the blending mode. So I'm actually going to change this to an alpha clip because if you don't do that, Blender doesn't know what to do with the alpha. So we essentially have our emission channel. I'll press Shift and AS and I'll drop down a mix shader. I'll plug this into the second value, like so. I'll then press Shift and A, S to search, and I'll search for a transparent BSDF. We'll plug this BSDF into the first value. And then I need the texture coordinate node. So I'll press Shift A and S to search, texture coordinate. We'll select the object. Obviously we're using the empty to drive the animation, this could be any kind of object. And now I'm going to separate this on the channel, so search for a separate X, Y and Z. Now this could be on any axis, but I'm just going to take the object, I'm going to plug this into the vector, and again I'm going to use the X axis. And the empty is now essentially driving the animation. So if I go back, so you can see here, the wireframe now goes off at the same time as the object. And that's a very cheaty way to be honest, what you can start to do is add things like a noise into the transparency, you can get this kind of dissolving effect, there are several things that you can do, but it is a very basic tutorial, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in government, you know what to do, take care.